hello friends welcome to my channel so today we'll see that how to how to create a spam policy in office 365 and how to uh, whitelist any domain from spam policy and how to block any domain in spam policy okay so let's start so this is you know office portal from here we'll go to this admin portal hmm? From here, we'll click on the security portal, and uh, from here, we'll scroll down policies and rules, threat policies, then anti spam policy, and from here, we can create the policy. this is opening taking some time meanwhile i request you all to please please subscribe my channel like my videos this is my new channel and if you want a video like this then i need your motivation so please like and subscribe we'll take some time let's try with some of the, the different portal not different, same one but with the different type. At this point, Still taking some time. I don't know why. So this is this is the portal managed by Microsoft.com only. So latency and download speed and everything is now all depends upon the internet speed and the Microsoft.com server. See this user quota was exceed. So here this is open now. So what we'll do, we'll create a new policy. Okay, inbound policy. Next, test. Next, include these users. Okay, so you can include the users for this policy. So you have option to add the group also. And we have option to select the this uh, domain. So you can include domain. Okay, you can keep these settings default. Next, keep this setting also default. So if if the mail detect as a spam, then move message to the junk email folder means uh, Outlook client. In Outlook client, it will move to junk folder. Okay. If mail will be detected with high confidence spam, then move message to the junk email folder. Same setting. You can change the settings. Okay. And if may email is detected as phishing then move the mail to quarantine you you have option to delete that message also okay but don't do so always accumulate those kind of mails in the quarantine section so that if it is not actual phishing mail then you can at least release to the user so these are the basic setting you which you can set by yourself as per your company policy okay and here what i was saying that you can allow or 
disallow domain okay like microsoft dot com so anything any mail you are receiving from sorry sender 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 this is not domain this is sender so suppose a b c microsoft.com so email id required okay. you can whitelist these users by default so here generally we include ceo's email ids like this always deliver suppose some some of your vendors or something like that you want to open the domain for them and you do not want to scan the spam and you do not want to uh, scan their email IDs under this spam policy then you can whitelist okay like this you can block the sender also suppose some junk mail is coming from coming to you from any domain then you can simply so this is this is email id so i will not add email id suppose i am adding one domain so some spammer is sending you mails from this domain for example okay so you can block this so that that user will not be able the sender will not be or that domain will not be able to send the mails to you again next or you can add and uh, you can add and update these block and uh, allow list after creating the policy as well just create So this is done you click on done refresh this policy is created okay now what you can do you can just click on this and you can simply edit those block and allow list from here also okay from here you can add more domains which you want to block and you can allow more domains which you want to allow by default same way with the sender email id okay so this was about how to create this anti-spam policy and how to allow or block domain or sender email id in that policy okay thank you friend and request you to please like my video and subscribe my channel thank you